Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be reviewing tips for performing a mini flush of the transmission fluid on this 2025 Chevy Trax with the automatic transmission. If you find my tips to be helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment. So let's get started. Some of the symptoms associated with dirty or old transmission fluid include a burnt oil smell, hard downshifting when you're slowing down, engine temperature is too high, there's a shuddering or vibration in the transmission, you have a delay in shifting or hard shifting. Please see vehicle maintenance manual for warranty details. So let's talk about preparation. I like to let the vehicle sit overnight and the transmission be absolutely cool before I perform this procedure. And the reason I do that is because I don't have to worry about whether or not the fluid is expanded, okay? So let the vehicle cool overnight. You'll want the vehicle to be on a flat surface. You have to have the ability to lift the vehicle in order to access the check port and that's about it. So at this time, we're gonna go ahead and identify the fill port, drain port, and the check port. Okay, we're moving into position to locate the fill port. So at the tip of my red pointer, you can see the plastic cap for the fill port. There you go, that is the cap. There, that's a little bit clearer for you. In order to gain access to the fill port cap, you're gonna to have to remove this screw right here and that screw right there so that you can remove this section of hose, temporarily remove it out of the way, and that will give you full access to the cap that's right under this location. Okay, so let's go ahead and move under the vehicle. So now I'm right at the front of the vehicle on the driver's side. Just kind of panning down, show you the general area. And you can see that I have a hydraulic jack with the jack stand already in place. Now I'm gonna to move towards the transmission. You can see it coming into view. You can see the four dots. That's your drain port right there, okay? And that can be removed using an 11 millimeter socket. Now I'm just going to continue back, and it's a little hard to see, but right there, that bolt right there is the check port. On the screen, I also have a figure that shows the location of this check port, okay? That also can be removed using an 11 millimeter socket. Okay, now that I've shown you the fill port, the drain port, and check port locations, let's quickly go over our supply list. Our supply list includes Dextron 6 automatic transmission fluid, and you're gonna need nine quarts of that, okay? So you can get the five quart plus the four individual quarts. That, that should work fine. The 11 millimeter socket, long, say a 12 inch extension, and a ratchet. You'll need that extension in order to access the check port from the driver's side tire. It's quite a distance. You're gonna to have to kind of work through the frame to get there. You'll see that in a little bit. You're gonna need a funnel and a hose, a five quart measuring bucket, an empty waste jug, a floor jack, and jack stands. Please see other items in the description below. And with that, let's just go ahead and quickly move through the steps and then you guys can watch the video as many times as needed in order to perform the task yourself. Okay. I'm going to simply drain the fluid that's currently in the transmission using your 11 millimeter socket with the ratchet. Okay. Just drain it out into your five quart measuring bucket. Okay. Very straightforward. So while the fluid is draining, you're going to remove these two screws so that you can remove this section of hose, get it out of the way. That way you can access the fill port location. You're going to remove 
the fill port cap, and you're gonna install this hose at least about one inch into the fill port hole. Place this funnel in a secure location so when you're pouring the fluid, this hose doesn't move around. You're gonna pull out your bucket, and you're gonna reinstall the drain port bolt and make it to about 90% tight. And also, you want to write down how much fluid was drained, okay? Just mark it down on a piece of paper. But this time, you're going to pour four quarts of transmission fluid back into the system. You're going to replace the fluid that you just removed. So think about the measurement on that bucket, and you just want to put back that same amount. And you want to pour very slowly. Always recheck the location of this hose to make sure that is inside the fill port hole. At least about an inch of the tip of the hose should be inside of the fill port hole. Go ahead, remove the hose, and reinstall the fill port cap. Okay, so now what we're going to do is start the car and let it run for approximately one minute. Remember, we do not want the oil to get warmed up. While the car is running, you're going to shift through all of the gears at least three times. Park, reverse, so you're going to have to be sitting in the car and don't forget to put on the parking brake, okay? So reverse, park, neutral, drive, low, so on and so forth. You're going to do that three times and then shut the car off. What that's going to do, it's going to mix the new fluid with the old fluid that's in the torque converter, okay? And so what we're trying to do is remove some of that old fluid that is not accessible by simply draining the transmission. Go ahead, shut the car off. Okay, I want you to be extra careful of any hot parts in Get underneath the vehicle, and now you're going to perform the final drain. So you're simply going to slide this bucket in place, loosen the drain plug, let it drain out all the way, pay special attention to the volume of fluid removed. After that, move the bucket out, and you're going to tighten this bolt for the permanent installation. It doesn't have to be extremely tight. It's just like the drain plug for the oil pan. So uh, approximately 15 pound feet of pressure. It, this is a very small bolt and this is an aluminum block transmission. Do not over tighten this bolt. It is not needed, okay? Snug it down and go maybe a quarter turn past that. That's all that's needed. Loosen the fill port cap reinstall the hose and now you're going to pour in approximately three quarts of fluid do not add in all of the fluid and what we're going to do right now is lower the vehicle to provide only minimal access to the check port and the reason for that is we need the vehicle to be as level as possible when we check the fluid okay moving back underneath the vehicle And what I'm just going to show you how my ratchet, socket, and extension are positioned so that I can access that drug. Okay, so you can see the socket and the extension. And then I'm going to pull back a little bit and you see the ratchet right there. And what I want you to do is simply open that check port, remove the bolt all the way, and you're going to place a bucket beneath the check port. Just a quick review. We've added in three quarts of fluid. We've removed the check port bolt and we've placed a bucket underneath the check port locations, okay? So what I want you to do now is add in one half quart of fluid for a total of three and a half quarts, very slowly, okay? And then I want you to come down here and check and see if the fluid has begun to trickle. Now you wanna wait about 15 seconds. If there's no fluid trickling, that means you haven't reached the fluid level yet. So now come back up to the top. So instead of adding a half a quart, now you're gonna add in one quarter of a quart. Wait about 10 seconds, come down, 
check for trickles. And you're gonna add in that last amount. And when you come down, you should be just seeing one or two trickles coming out of that check port. And that's exactly what you wanna see. Go ahead, reinstall the check port bolt. You're gonna tighten it down. Just needs to be snug, plus one quarter of a turn. All right, remove the bucket, remove your flashlight, lower the vehicle. Go ahead, remove your jack stand and your hydraulic jack. Now you're gonna remove the hose and funnel. Reinstall the fill port cap. Reinstall this hose section right here and tighten down these two screws. Okay, your final step is to take the vehicle out for a test drive. So what I'd like you to do is take the vehicle out for approximately one to two miles. Do not exceed 25 miles per hour. You're just trying to work through the gears. I want you to pay attention to any strange noises. And then you're gonna bring the car back to this location and you're gonna go underneath the vehicle and you're gonna check for leaks. If there are no leaks found, this mini flush is complete. This video is concluded. And so I just wanna thank you guys for bearing with me. I hope my tips were helpful. Please submit any comments. And until next time, drive defensively.